Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia, and today I'm reviewing an HO scale rebuilt all purpose 40 foot well car from Walther's Proto. This car is painted in the TTX new scheme with conspicuity stripes and has a build date of 2004, so it would be appropriate for any modern era layout. The MSRP on this car is $39.98. The paint on the car is very crisp and even. Yellow is a hard color to get to cover well, but this car seems to be solid. All of the markings are legible. Some of the tiny writing may require magnification to read. I really like the separately applied grab irons on the end of the car and also the stirrup steps, which I think are nicely done. I really like the see-through walkways on the ends of the car. I'm not sure if they're photo etched or plastic, but they look really good. I am a little disappointed that they didn't put in some more brake plumbing since they do have the brake components and they are exposed on a car like this. The car does not include uncoupling levers or train line air hoses. The model comes equipped with ProtoMax couplers. The couplers on both ends were slightly high according to the KD height gauge. Keep in mind that it's the center line of the coupler that needs to match, not the top or the bottom. The detail on the bottom of the car is fairly minimal, but I think most well cars don't have a whole lot going on down there. The holes in the floor are nicely rendered. The car is equipped with metal wheels, and all of the wheels were engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 4.2 ounces. The recommended weight for a car of this length is 5.25 ounces. With cars like this, adding a load is really the only practical way to add weight. One thing I like is that the car includes additional holes in the center and at the ends to fit the pins on the Walther's containers. With the nicely done grab irons and see-through platform detail, this is a very nice car. It would be nice to see maybe some more detail such as brake plumbing, uncoupling levers and such, but I'm not going to fault the model for that. I am going to take off one spike for the coupler height being off, so my final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.